Hey guys, it's me Courtney and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will be discussing an indie brand called Alamar Cosmetics. It is owned and founded and all that good stuff um, by a makeup artist by the name of Gabriella. I actually was watching some of her videos um, where she was doing Kathleen Light's makeup for like um, some photo shoots and stuff like that. So um, I do think she's like really, really talented and I love the looks that she came up with. If I can find some of those videos or the channel in general, I will leave that in the description box. So they have the volume one of the Reina del Caribe palette and volume two as well. Um, I'm not sure if they were going for a daytime, nighttime theme, but I definitely got that vibe from it. They also have two brush sets. Um, the Ojitos Volume 1 and the Ojitos Volume 2. If I'm not mistaken, you can get all of this in one bundle. I believe the complete cost of everything was $92. The last time that I was on the website, they had an entire bundle for $85. Um, but I think that's like limited quantities kind of thing. So if you are interested in any of that stuff, it will be on the website. And I will link that below as well. Alright, so this is Reina del Caribe Volume 1. There isn't a mirror in this palette. Um, you do get four mattes, four shimmers. Nothing special going on in the back. It does, however, on the back have this little phrase and it says, inspired by the beauty and rich culture of Cuba, the birthplace of Alamar. That's another thing that I wanted to mention. So if you go on the website, it kind of gives a little bit more insight to the owner of the brand as well as why she um, named the cosmetics brand Alamar. Basically, it is a warm tone palette. You do get your pops of color in there. I do believe it's a really good everyday kind of palette, but you can definitely get like some nighttime sultry looks out of it. This color is really special because it's almost like a antique gold, but it has like a hint of green in there. To me, it was just like a really, really unique color, especially for this color palette in general. This palette, Volume 1, is a little bit more cohesive to me. Um, I can get a lot more looks out of this palette without thinking, if that makes sense. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know like I love warm tones. Um, so an orange, a golden yellow, a red in my crease is like everything to me. You can use Cafecito to deepen, um, but you can also use um, Guantanamera. Hey. I just, that, that's the song. Anyway, so you can also use this red color right here, which is like a deep burgundy-ish color. Um, and this one's called Guantanamera. And honestly, like, you can use either one of these to deepen. You can also use this red as a transition shade as well, which I ended up doing it in one of my looks. The only color in this palette that I've had problems with as far as pigmentation was this color. It's like a golden orangey yellow. Um, the name of this color is Coco Taxi. And now the problem that I had with it specifically was on my skin tone in general, yellows <laughs> don't ever want to show up. If I wanted to do like a cut crease or something like this and put this on top of a sticky base, it would of course show up. Um, but just on my bare skin or even like just lightly primed, this color doesn't show up on me and it's so unfortunate because I really really love the color to be fair I can build this color up um, and I can get like a light wash of color that's really beautiful I just wish it packed a little bit more punch I don't know if it's because of like the depth of my skin tone that it's just too close to it that it won't show up that's the only color that I had any problems with in this palette all of the colors showed up beautifully um, all of the mattes blended beautifully um, the shimmer shades are like amazing. It does say on the packaging that you can use these for uh, shimmer shades wet. Like you can use a Fix Plus or something like that. But in all honesty, I have not needed to do that. I just go in with like my finger and pack on the lid and I've gotten the color payoff that I needed. I haven't needed to really use like a Fix Plus or anything like that, but it's still, when you do, it just makes it a little bit more metallic, a little bit more pizzazzy. Is that a word? Either way, like, I really do enjoy the shimmers on these palettes. So this is the Volume 2 palette. Um, it is like this deep blue beautiful color. Um, when you open it up, this one does come with the mirror. For this palette, it's the same sort of order. So you got your four shimmers up top, your four mattes down below. This palette to me was a little bit more avant-garde. 
this palette forced me to think outside the box a little bit. I'm so used to warm tones and just the warm tone in the crease and then kind of going from there. This palette sort of made me think a little bit harder as to how to really make these colors connect in an eye look. Although I can understand why some people might shy away from a palette like this, I really do enjoy it. One thing that I did want to mention, I'm not sure if from volume one to volume two anything got reformulated, um, but I will say I'm still happy with both of them and they both perform really really well with this color mambo I had a similar issue as I did with volume 1 the yellow in volume 1 um, where it did not do what I needed it to do off top I have to pack it on without moving it um, it's one of those colors that I can definitely build and build and build but once I blend it blends away whereas the yellow from the volume 1 palette doesn't show up at all like I'll still pack it on but it just won't pack the punch that I need it to this one I can get to pack the punch but I can't blend it out does that make sense I don't know if that makes sense anyway if you're only in the market to get one of the palettes um, and you choose this one this color right here flamingo works really well as a transition shade I am a firm believer of just one color on the lid and blending that all the way up into your crease and then being done with it and I feel like with all of the mattes, you can definitely do that with all of the shimmers. You can like literally take like your, your um, pink color with your purple color and be done with it. Like you get so many looks out of both of these palettes. This color right here, as we've got, I was like not a fan of. But the more I use it, the more I love it. The more that I was playing with this palette and the, and the uh, volume one, the more I realized like that color is very diverse and what I mean by that you can definitely use this color to sort of brighten up any look so if I were to take it and like put it on my lid right now it would brighten it up almost like the way a white shimmer would um, you can use it in your inner corner and it does something special like you can do it on the lower lash line like I did it right here on my lower lash line and I really like what it did there for the price of these palettes um, being that they're $28 a piece I really think it's worth it especially the shimmers there's something really beautiful something really special even the brushes like the brushes are a really good quality which i did not get into so let me get into that real quick my two favorite ones out of the green set is like this brush right here which i want to say is like a flat painter brush i think is what they call it and this one's really good for cutting your crease this one is just like a regular liner brush but it is super duper thin so you can kind of flick that liner out and it is the thing that I use to um, sort of bring my liner upwards on this side now this brush I did have like a love-hate relationship with it's just one of those things that like when I want to pack it on like right here it definitely sets it where it needs to go and it does blend out beautifully once you get it to blend but for me I like a brush that's a little bit more wider um, so that when I put it in it's getting like oops, so that when I put it in my crease it's getting it everywhere essentially um it just works better for me in the way that I do my makeup in the second set um, this brush right here is probably my favorite in the second set. I think this brush does a really good job of taking a pigment and putting it exactly where you want it. So when I put it like in this area right here and kind of moved it along, it moved it exactly where I wanted it to go. This brush is another variation of the other fluffy brush, the other green one. Um, again, it's one of those things that I think I'm just going to have to get used to using this in a different technique. Not to say that this would not work for somebody, um, it just takes me more time to use it this way. Alright, so this is the last brush. Um, this one I like for packing on pigment. So for example, with this eye look, I also use the um, Kilowatt Foil from Fenty Beauty and literally just took it on the brush and literally just packed it on top and it just worked beautifully I don't necessarily use this brush to like blend or anything but just packing the color where I want it to go it's really really good at that I think overall as a whole I'm really really excited about the products that I did get I'm enjoying all of them her sort of coming out with these palettes especially when like people are kind of all doing the same looks like everybody's doing like cherries and nudes and you know what I mean so to come out with the volume one and volume two the way that she did I think that's awesome and I'm really really excited to see what else she comes up with I cannot wait for when she comes out with like lipsticks and stuff like that because I guarantee you 
they are gonna be some of the most beautiful colors you've ever seen and I'm like here for it alright guys that about does it for me hopefully this video was helpful and informative if so please give me a thumbs up also if you guys already have these palettes let me know what you think of like the brand the palettes the brushes all that stuff or if you're planning on getting them I would love to know what you guys think um but yeah other than that be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video if the mood suits you, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>